Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Warpa Bavarian in this Crusader Kings 2 and we have returned here in After the End Old World as the Revolution. We have just conquered Lithuania and Latvia and I don't quite understand how the mechanics around the revolution and everything work, but I think that we can figure it out. I hope that we can, you know, spread the revolution throughout the lands and that maybe we're gonna have a good time with it. Uh, at the very least, I mean, I would be, I would be very confused if we couldn't have a good time with it. This is bonkers and I love it. A new order has been established, and the revolution always comes from the east. You know, we have already a couple of people here, the defenders of the people, the Stalinists exist. I also saw some people that were not Stalinists, that were, let me, let me check this out. I swear, yeah, there are some Titoists right here. Now, not that that actually matters, because we're not associated with them. We are not associated with, you know, like, any form of ideology. We are, of course, only interested in satisfying Madame Guillotine. And we shall do that with all of our might. Now, the way this works is that I can apparently sacrifice peasants. Madame and uh, Madame Guillotine wants regular sacrifices, but you haven't done it in a long time. You can sacrifice a few peasants and pay a small compensation to their family to satisfy her. She is not thirsty, but if I did it, she would no longer be thirsty. Okay, I understand. It's like a doom mechanic, I guess. Can I join anyone? I don't think I can join anyone. What we are going to do is we are going to join the powers that be. Now, first thing, uh, things first, let's just establish something, even if it is fairly weak. I'm going to establish the Rep uh, Republic of Estonia. I think we can do this, and I think we should do this. We are in full control of Lithuania and Latvia, and now it is time to clean up all to the north, and um, maybe even to the south. We are going to start to, like, you know, kind of spread the revolution around, much like they did historically. Of course, the French Republic established kind of vassal republics all around them. I don't want to vassalize them, I just want to destroy everybody else. The he is the one and probably the only battle of this entire war. It should be a very decisive victory. Indeed it is. And now we can march north and we can destroy our opponents. May the Republic rise and I am known as the Bear. How nice. What a what a nice nickname. Who are you? Oh, okay. Oh, they actually joined? No. Belarus, stay out of this. I beg of you, stay out of this. You know what? I'm going to start assaulting this nonsense then because I cannot bear... Haha, <laughs> get it? Fighting Belarus as well. They are quite powerful. And you know what? Let them have some fun. After the army enters Kalavan, any sense of discipline is lost and the men start robbing, burn and pillage. Well, I mean, that's just how it goes, right? That is just how it goes. It's war! And it's, of course, all for the pleasure of Madame Guillotine. So let's take everybody out. Let's just show them what it means to oppose us. And I think I should be in a position to show them despite Belarus reinforcing them. Because if I just assault this down, then we'll be good to go. And indeed, that's exactly the case. The war's over. Belarus has intervened, but not in a timely fashion, and because of it... Beautiful. President Velo. Oh my god, this symbol. This is just... This is ridiculous. But I love it. I... Don't get me wrong here. I love the ridiculousness of it all, but... My god, is it ridiculous. And I didn't even put anyone on the on the council. That's amazing. Alright, let's put some people on the council here. Let's make sure that they are all happy, and maybe, honestly, how are we doing in terms of revolution? Ah, oh, there's a lot of Jacobinists down here. I'm actually quite happy with that. You may marry that lady, that's okay, and I think we are in a good spot to, you know, kind of keep pushing and push people out of their old lands and more revolutionaries in. In fact, we are immediately going to continue by pushing against Belarus. Somebody has to do it, and in this case it will most certainly be us. Let's destroy them, let's teach them a lesson, uh, oh, let's teach them a lesson about menace and about how to behave when it comes to Madame Guillotine. Here's the major battle of this war going on, and it is, of course, also a victory, yeah. Uh, unless, you know, there's a lot of reinforcements coming in, I think we will win it. My god, there may be too many reinforcements, quite frankly. Latvia, our old opponent, is now opposing us yet again. I can only hope that we can uh, finish this off in time before everybody else arrives, but we'll have to see. Are these sounds a lot open to joining us? Hello there! Why, yes, I would like to destroy my enemies with your aid. How do you feel about that? You know, this is a very risky move, but I will try it nonetheless. We got some holy warriors, uh, warriors here. I have a direct leader. Let's hope that we can defeat the united forces of the alliance against us. And what just happened here? I don't know, but let's just hope that we can defeat the united forces of the alliance against us. Oh, they're, they're running. Oh, huh. well, um... Interesting. Let's try to catch him. Let's try to defeat them. Oh, maybe not in the hills. That would be nice if I could do it outside of the hills. The forest would be even worse, quite frankly. So what I did here was, they have a roughly equal force, but I just baited them into attacking over here, as I always do. And we have a defender and a direct leader as our central leader, so I'm very, very happy about that. I can only hope, though, that this will actually be a victory. It might not be. 
It's all going to depend. Oh, good tactics here. The reinforcements have arrived, and I think that should be a victory right there. Yeah, beautiful. We wiped them. We wiped them by virtue of being all powerful. Now, I am, you know, I'm not exactly lustful, so I'm not going to do that. And uh, we wiped them, and hopefully we will, you know, I hope this means that we can actually establish this damn republic of Belarus. And just like that, Belarus has been made into a republic. Yet another enemy was defeated, and now President Valerius of Belarus under the Listvun Listvunskaya culture is the new leader of Belarus. Look at this. We are spreading the right religion all the way through the world, and I am a huge fan. Now, my big question is, because I didn't see this, the Republic, back when, you know, we fought them back they, when they were in southern France, they didn't really spread past the people that they boarded. Could I theoretically spread the revolution? I totally can. Oh my goodness, that is great. That is really, really good. And you know what that means. I mean, this just means that we're going to go against Poland right away. You know, then we have Estonia, we have Belarus, we have Lithuania, and we have Poland all being republics. And all, of course, listening to the one true Madame Guillotine. Wait a minute, do I need to... Nope, she's not thirsty. I mean, sure. I, I guess that's fair. Um, You know what we're going to do here? I'm going to... Am I losing money? I'm making money. I'm going to usurp the kingdom of Latvia. Wait, what do we have? It's Gable kind? Come on, really? Uh, that's horrible. I mean, I don't have any children, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to... Listen, I'm just going to usurp this title of Latvia here. Takes one of their titles away, you know, splits them up a bit, and I guess even if we split apart, that's just, you know, how the Republic works and all that. Poland, under the Pilsudski dynasty, it's your time to fall as well. We are relentless, and we are quick, because in just, you know, the past uh, few years, we have completely eradicated the old order here in the East. I think Pietrograd will be one of the last people that we have to completely wipe out, but we will completely wipe them out, believe you me. That we will. And here's where the great battle against Slovakia and Poland, or rather, you know, only Slovakia's forces in this case, but Poland's friends and allies will occur. We will destroy them wherever we are. We will destroy them whenever possible. They are unifying themselves again and again in grand coalitions against their forces, but quite frankly, it will not happen. Oh, and this is just beautiful. I know that I'm right, but I can't make them agree with me. You know what? Why don't we become a lunatic? Ah, oh, we didn't. That sucks. Your High Executioner approaches you with a request. My lord, I want your permission to travel to the pagan lands and spread the Jacobinist faith among those unfortunate people. I, it shall be for the glory of democracy. Sent to Indiga. I don't even know where the hell it is. Who are we, who are we proselytizing here? Chiefdom of Indiga. Oh my god, why would you want to do that? Alright, you know what? Democracy be with you. I guess that is horrible. Alright, let's win this battle, and there you go. I could duel this guy myself. Uh, if I lose, though, I would literally lose the game, so let's just not do that. The people of God sally forth. For century, the Calvinist faithful have fo uh, found themselves besieged on all sides, holed up within the mountain fortresses of Switzerland, or oppressed by the whims of the British. The elders have decided that this should no longer be. The enemies of the people of God are too numerous, and the ranks of the unbelievers must be thinned. That marks the beginning of a new period of Calvinist expansion, the era of war. So the Calvinists are also angry now. I mean, Switzerreich is no longer revolutionary. They are merely Calvinist again, so I guess that makes a lot of sense. Men, I don't like what I'm seeing here. Richard the Brave, at least it's still a dynasty. I assume that he was installed by a faction of man. Indeed he was. That's okay. I don't really mind that too much. But what the hell? How did... How did this... Was this a... Peacefully usurped? Wait, what? Really? How did you peacefully usurp all of Sardinia? There must have been a prepared invasion. I, I do not believe... That this went in any other way. There must have been a prepared invasion. Okay, I can't see it here. Maybe I can see it on the county level. Conquered in a holy war. How did... What is this? How did this happen? Conquered in a holy war. There was just one holy war? Was there already yet another great holy war? Are you kidding me? No, that's unbelievable. Oh, there was... No, I don't think there was. I don't know how they did it, but I think Numenor is too strong. Don't, you know... Maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't feel right. Oh, and they committed to me. Now, this is a difficult fight. We might very well lose this one. If we do, I think we can rebounce if I do everything right. But if we can't, then, I mean, so be it. Poland may yet again, you know, miracle at the at the Weichsel, at the Vistula, I guess. But we will see how it goes. And um, they are superior in forces, but they have, you know, a pretty bad river crossing there. And I do have a direct leader that is also a defender on my side. And on top of that, if I play my cards right, then we also have a Holy Warrior right here. Indeed, we do. Uh, everybody else doesn't strike me as excellent. Bron uh, Bronislovas, 
defend us. This is the battle that will define the future of our world. Will the Polish be able to defend against us? We didn't get any good tactics and that may spell doom. Now that flank fell way earlier than any other flank fell and I think that is the victory. Wow. The Polish fail. Nobody. Nobody gets to repeat us and nobody gets to repeat the miracle at the Vistula. Not in this timeline anyway. Poland is gone for good. Would you look at that? They've done it. And now President Vyeslav of Bricheborsh is in control. We have an Illuminati house sigil, by the way. We don't have... Oh, Mega Crusher. We don't have the pretty cool uh, icon, you know, the one that the last prophet had. But take a look at this. The Polish lost in such a, such a dire and close circumstance. But in the end, we made it all happen. Now the problem with the republics that I have created, which is why I don't know how long we can keep this up, the problem truly comes down to one thing and one thing only. They don't actually take all the territory, which means that, you know, all of these vassals are still around and they obviously hate our dear new overlord, President Valerius over here, and then of course President Wieslaw of Poland down there and President Velo of Estonia up here. And the problem really is, I don't think that these are any sort of ally. I think they're far too weak to be, you know, viewed as allies and... That is problematic. I don't know whether we can actually, you know, keep turning the tide here. I don't know whether we can keep going here. I can have concubines. I didn't even realize this. I should definitely have concubines. But, yeah, I hope that you see my issue here. If this continues, then our struggle is kind of, you know, for naught. Uh, could I theoretically? I just want to check. I just want to... Oh, wow. Yeah, you could totally establish republics all over the place. Alba, tell... Nope, that's too far then. Alright, but look at that. We are doing well ourselves, but whether our, you know, dear friends will be doing well is something that I highly doubt. I think I have to help him here, right, uh, actually in defense, otherwise Belarus will already lose something. You know, in my time of playing this game, in my time of even playing this mod, I mean, by God, you know, we haven't played this mod for too long, but... Everything has gone a bit crazy. I mean, just look at Numenor. My God, I actually unleashed a monster, but in my time... I've never seen something so strange as Presidatel Simeon II of Pietrograd, a Stalinist merchant republic. These are truly strange days. And I think we need to put an end to that spook. We need to put an end to this weird republic up in the north and put an even weirder up there ourselves, of course. So let's do it. And we have a bit of an unexpected battle here. I didn't see that they would come up, but we will have to fight for a long time there without our reinforcements. So I don't know whether we will win this, but we're having a good start in the center flank. They actually lost their command and our reinforcements should arrive in time to actually clean this up. Yeah, we definitely lost that engagement right there, but luckily the reinforcements were indeed on their way. And at the end of the day, no matter how you look at it, we just destroyed the Stalinist forces of Pietrograd. Interesting, they didn't rename it, by the way. It should be dynamic at this point. I mean, you know, it just, it would make sense. Let's be really honest. Now, with that being said, though, we have had a pretty decent start and we shall continue. Let's kick them out from the north here and let's put another republic in its place. And we have a son. He is sick. Lazukas is a sickly child. I can only hope that he stays alive because the revolution needs him to stay alive. But honestly, this war is still going and I can only hope that we can actually turn it into a victory. They have, I hate merchant republics so much and I, I hate this stuff as well. Well, at the very least, I have a lot of money. I just lost a very vital battle, at least I would call it vital. And we have a decent chunk of money, of course, you know, we're not making too much, but we are making a decent chunk, at least, you know, chunky for our size, I think. And I think we need to quell this, uh, we need to quench the thirst of this rebellion first, and then we need to fight this Polish rebellion as well, or else one of our republics will fall, and then we can look back north. I think we can wait with our offensive until then. Let's strike them down, then let's strike Gdansk down. They shall never rebel again against the glorious revolution. My god, this has been a costly fight up here in the north, but it has been worth it in my opinion. It has been worth it, and man, they are really, look at this. Greater Polish holy war for Kujawia, and then you also have Slovakia going for lesser Poland. It's difficult, it's honestly very difficult. I mean, looking at this, you know, how exactly do you protect your beautiful republics. You can't actually do it. It's impossible. You frankly cannot safeguard your republics. And I don't know where to go from there. I can just, you know, like keep fighting our enemies. I can keep going against them, but whether we can actually hold it together. Yeah, the coalition wars and the revolutionary armies here, they have a hard time. Much like they, I suppose, you know, did have a hard time, historically speaking. It checks out if you really, if you really think about it. Now, I have kind of given up on the Polish Republic. I've done my best, but Slovakia is really pushing deep into 
Poland. If anything, I think this just means that I have to go for Slovakia next instead of, you know, going, for example, for Prussia. Because Slovakia has been very active in defeating our friends. Uh, Belarus seems to stand quite fairly well, you know. I, I, they're not having too much trouble. I just need to finish off these Stalinists up here and then we can take a look at what the future holds for the Republican, uh, Republican movement. And, of course, for our dear, dear revolution to begin with. Now, can I... can't even march up there. My God, so much sickness everywhere. Disgusting. And you know what they say? Good things need time. And hopefully the Republic of Pietrograd is a good thing. Because we just created them. And this is a large thing up here. President Ilya of Pietrograd. I can only hope that he will indeed be true to my hopes. That he will be true to, you know, what we wanted to achieve up there. It looks good. Honestly, so far. I mean, look at this. Poland has suffered. But Belarus stands tall. Pietrograd stands tall. And of course, Estonia also stands quite tall. Uh, honestly... I think the revolution down here was quite a bit more successful, but, you know, at least for the time that it lived, it is long dead, of course, but, man, I miss the times where I had, you know, competent enemies on the revolution side. Right now, we are just a bit of a, a, bit of a fool down here, and look at you, King Albrecht III. Let's take a look at Slovakia. Slovakia. I can't declare a revolutionary war against you, so I assume that I would actually have to border you, which is impossible, seeing as I have revolutionary republics all around me. You know what, in that case, Prussia, I think it's time that we establish a republic in your lands. At, at this point, right, we have come far enough to actually be able and be willing to declare that war. Now, I will hire this holy order, of course. Do I need to hire anyone else? I don't think I do. I think we're fine. Could I have an alliance with you? Oh, you have a daughter. Beautiful. Can I make this happen? No, of course I can't. Man, I hate it. All these new established, newly established republics don't have anything going for them. You know, they don't have any sort of, hey, check this out. We have family members here, so I'm going to go with Pietrograd here. And I think then we're going to go ahead and we are actually going to declare on Prussia. Prussia is the arch enemy of any Bavarian. And I cannot deem it acceptable that they exist in this scenario. They must be shattered, and quite frankly, they shall be shattered. Wait a minute, why don't we... Oh, we didn't accept it yet. Come on. Thank you. We want to form an alliance. I appreciate that. And I think we must declare a war right now. Prussia will not remain where it is. I will wipe it from the map if necessary. And quite frankly, it looks like it is necessary. Now, let's call in our allies and let's make this happen. Oh, no. Pietrograd Independence War. It's just this guy, but it means that Pietrograd will not be aiding us. Meaning that our war just got a whole lot harder, because I will have a troublesome experience here when it comes to trying to establish ourselves in the early phase of the war. But let's just hope that we can defeat Prussia. I mean, they've been defeated before numerous times, you know, just think of World War 1 and World War 2. So let's try to uh, make this happen. I mean, you know, more than try, we really can't pull off, so... This is our biggest hope. Our biggest and best investment on... Look at this. I will fight them in Kuyawi. That is where we destroy them. That is where we teach them a lesson. I no longer have any central leader. Direct leader appears to have passed away. That sucks, of course. But I think we got this. If we win against Prussia, my, ne my, my nemesis is... I mean, they're done. They would be gone for good and forever. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. This will be a very clear victory. Say goodbye to Prussia. They had it coming, quite frankly. Look at that. I have to sacrifice some peasants now, it seems. Madame Guillotine wants regular sacrifices, and we haven't done it in a while. Oh, that's all. That Like, that's all that does. I wonder what happens if I don't do the sacrifice. Hmm. Oh, and I actually baited them. You fools. Look at that. They got baited in. The Rhineland got baited into attacking this lone, poor army. Oh my. This will hurt, but not for me. There they go. King of the Rhineland, everybody. Smart. Very smart guy. And here comes the main force of the Prussians, yet again attempting to defeat us. But I quite frankly don't think they will. I quite frankly don't think they will defeat us. Now, center flank is faring where, uh, very poorly, but with the reinforcements, we should be just in time to make this happen. And indeed we are. The enemy has been wiped. And I want you to be here. When the revolutionary army conquers Berlin, we have fought for so long, we have fought through hardship, and we also captured the finger of St. John, and now Berlin has fallen. Never again will Prussia rise on its own. The revolution has arrived, and it is not going to leave. 
We are the great masters of the universe. Madame Guillotine will be very pleased with us, I am certain. The war against Prussia, the war for Prussia is over. Would you look at that? Consider yourself liberated. Yeah, I, I hate that they don't actually take the land over. What is this? What is this supposed to be? I don't understand. He's living on Rügen. Are you kidding me? How is President Harry Bad doing anything? He's not going to achieve anything at all. Mm, is this buggy? Because it certainly doesn't feel right. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just, you know, not sitting well with me. Yeah, and look at Numenor, by the way. They have been absolutely ruthless. Although, uh, High King Richard the Brave appears to be quite weak. And it also appears interesting. Wait a minute. He's not the Maya anymore. Maya Aragorn the Great still sitting over here. Ruling over all of, well, Gondor itself. Um, I don't think he's going to leave Numenor anytime soon. I don't think that they can call any Great Holy Wars anytime soon either. I don't know. This is a bit of a weird one. Primarily because we're looking in a situation where essentially I can create a million republics, but they will always fall apart. Where do I go from here? What do I do here? Maybe we should just uh, kind of call it a day, I suppose. I mean, it's a bit of a weird one because we, we wouldn't be going out on a high note, but at the end of the day, I mean, I can't really do much more, right? Let me know in the comments. I I was very interested. Uh, yep, and, I mean, there they go. <laughs> Huge revolution. If I defeat, if I help... I've noticed now that Jacobinists can essentially go around and seize duchies off of other Jacobinists, so I think the revolution will have to eat some children tomorrow. But with that being said, I want to thank the members of the channel that are making videos such as this one possible, namely the Barons, Aaron, Stefan, the Riches, T, Snywolf, Emma, Marmelo, Thomas, Lachlan, and Mitchell. Then, of course, also the Counts, Shifty, Wombat, and Kazan, and last but not least, the absolutely beautiful Dukes, so special Stark, Nathan, Knight, Esquire, Kenneth, Alexo, Eric, and Aiden. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. I will see you in the next episode. Later, Alligator.